Alright, so we're on version 7.0 of the Equid widget, so I wanted to make a video because there have been a lot of changes since I last made a video. So, to begin the storefront, it now only is one widget, so there isn't a version for the desktop and a version for the phone version of a site. Um, it's all packed into one. So you have the storefront, and then you have the storefront styling add-on. So if you drop the storefront onto the page, it's automatically going to expand to 100% width. That's just because it looks best if it's expanded to 100% width. And so let's say that you're also doing this on the phone version of your site. It will do the same thing and it will fit. So I had a few people ask me, uh, why the widget was so big and it's only because it's expanding to 100% width. It doesn't actually need to be that wide. So you have the storefront and then you also have the storefront styling add-on. This image is not going to appear on the page. I'm going to preview in browser just to show you that, but as you can see, it's not there. So this is just so you don't lose track of the widget. So the main storefront widget is broken up into four main parts. In this first part, you have basically the information that adjusts the structure of your store. So you're able to adjust the rows, um, the amount of items that appear on a page. Um, it's also where you enter your store ID, and then if you want it to open up inside a category, and then the width percentage. And I will go over in detail what each of those are in a different video. So in the second section is adjusting all the fonts. So you're able to adjust the type of font, the size of the font, the color of the font, um, color of the links, everything like that. In this third section, you're able to adjust the product images and the way that the images are displayed in the main storefront. Then in this last section, you have the item details, and this is where someone could add something to the cart, um, proceed to check out, adjust the options of the items that are in the cart, and everything like that. For the most part, the storefront styling add-on will adjust the buttons. There are, however, some toggle features at the top that will allow you to remove a few things and enable Ajax indexing. So with these toggle features, you can remove the category titles, you can remove breadcrumbs, you can remove the quantity count, and this is located in the item details. You can remove the in-stock label, which is also located in item details. Both these features might be helpful if you're selling downloadable products because the quantity is irrelevant and whether or not it's in stock is also irrelevant. You can remove the add more button, again for downloadable products, and the store located below 500 pixels. That's if your store is located below 500 pixels. Then down here you have Ajax indexing. So once you enable it, you just enter your store ID. It does require a little bit of configuring and you need to have a paid account with Equid. Um, but it is fairly easy to set up if you just follow a post that I made on it. And you can actually access the post by coming down here and clicking on the learn more about Ajax indexing text. So if you click that, it will take you to the post that is about how to get your store indexed. So these next four sections are all about the buttons inside the store. So you're able to add or remove the icons up here. Then down here you have a bunch of different icon options that you can choose from. And if you want to see all the icons all at once, just click down there and it will take you to a page that shows all the icons and then the name to look for uh, to be able to select one of these icons. All right, now in the third part of the button section, you're able to adjust the button width, font type, and font family, and the size of the text inside the buttons, then text color, the button background color, and then the background color of the button on the mouse down state, and then lastly, the button corners. So increase the number if you want to make the buttons more round, decrease this number if you don't want your buttons to be round. You're able to adjust the actual text that's inside the buttons. So add to cart, back to store, place order, check out, and clear cart. Then in this last section, you have the option to insert the style sheet manually. And to be able to grab the style sheet text, just click there. 
and it will take you to a page that has a style sheet text. Just click on it, then hit Command C or Control C to copy it. Then jump back over to Muse, go to your master page, and paste it in the page properties with Command or Control V, and click OK.